Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today we're taking a look at the Out of the Belt Nipper Single. This freewheeler retails at £479, and you can use this straight from birth all the way up until your child reaches about four years of age. The total weight that the pushchair can take is 22k and that will include anything that you have in the basket. A nice thing about this is it is compatible with the out and about carry cot and you can also use various car seats on it when you purchase the adapters. There's lots of choice of colours in this one so you can get this in grey, purple, different colour, um, different blues and also a red. And we're having a look at this in the raven black. So what we're going to do is get it all out of the box, we'll lay it out so you can see all the parts that we've got, we'll put the push chair together and then we can have a look at all of its features. So it's a nice sturdy box, let's get it open. Okay, here we go, so I'm going to get all of this out and I'll lay it out so you can see all of the contents. In the box, you have got the pushchair frame. You've also got these free air-filled tires, a seat liner, an instruction manual, and the great thing about Out and About is they include a rain cover. If you live in a rural area, or you are using your pushchair off-road a lot, you've probably heard of Out and About. It's a really great all-round off-road pushchair. That's not to say you can't use it when you're around town. Um, of course, you can, you can use it for both, but primarily it's aimed at um, off-road use and rural areas. So if you live in the countryside, this is absolutely perfect for you. And the main reason for that is these brilliant air-filled tyres. So... Airfield tyres are better for off-road use because they've got a lot more give to them and what it means is that when you're going over any bumpy ground it's going to feel really smooth and it's going to be really easy to manoeuvre as well. Plastic wheels or rubber wheels they just won't have the same effect when you're going over bumpy terrain um, although you can use a rubber wheel they're just not as good they're not going to be as smooth for you to push a push chair or also for your child when they're in there. We'll talk about the tyres in a little bit more detail once they're on but the first thing we need to do to get this set up is to get all three tyres on so we're going to start off with our rear ones. And this little piece here just removes, we just pull that out and the rear wheels are just going to slot in here straight into place. There we go, that's the first one. And all the wheels are the same, the back wheels are the same. The only wheel that's different is this front wheel and obviously you'll be able to tell that because there's two parts to it. So this one slots in, and then next up, we're gonna get our front wheel on. So we've got this little piece here which just removes, and then you can see we've got these slots which we're going to place our wheel into. So on the end here, you've got a nut bolt, and on the end here, you've got a lock. So this is gonna secure it into place, and you might need to slightly adjust the nut bolt to get it in to these slots here. So let's pop it in. There we go. And I'm going to tighten this bolt at the bottom to keep it in place. There we go. That's nice and tight. And then this will just lock it. So you can see, really, really simple to get those wheels on. It's going to take you no time at all. And one thing to note is that currently this front wheel is on lock and we can unlock it just by using this little mechanism here. You pull it out and then you just twist it and you can see here that's gonna keep it locked in place and now your wheel is able to swivel. So let's get this seat liner on. You know that you're gonna do it the right way round because there's Velcro on the seat liner and there's Velcro here on the backrest. So on our seat liner, we've got the two different positions depending on what height we've got our straps. I've kept it on the lower set in so i'm just going to feed them through and then down here this is a five point harness as you can see we're going to feed through 
the lower strap and you can see there you've got two positions as well if you want to and feed these through the sides so it's completely adjustable depending on the size of your child and it means that you can move it around as your child grows which is exactly what you would like and then the velcro there we go just keeps it in place so the advantages of the seat liner is firstly that it's going to add some extra padding for your child to make sure they're a bit more comfortable but also it means that you can remove this if it was to get dirty and you can clean it up and then pop it back in so it's a really nice thing to have it's not particularly soft material but it is very padded and it will be easy to maintain it will definitely be easy just to wipe clean if there gets any mud or baby sick or anything like that on here also included which i missed out when we did the contents because it was stuck at the bottom of the box is this remover removable bumper bar these are so easy to put on they just click into place and they've actually got a hinge on them so what that means is you can just remove one side if you're getting your baby in and out and to release it all you're going to do is use this little red lever here press it up and you can see how easy that is it just removes and then you can pop your child in nice and easily one of the things i love about out and about are the size of the seats you can see here it's a really nice deep seat it's plenty wide enough as your child grows and it's got a decent height on it as well so your child's going to be comfortable in there even when they're toddler size which is um, a really great thing about this brand let's spin this round and we're going to have a look at how you adjust the seat so it's multiple recline and the reason for that is it's um, a strap recline so for you that means that you can have it in any position you want you're not restricted to just having it in set positions so to adjust it you're going to use this clip here and what you're going to do is push it in and put it up and you will need two hands for this it's not really a one hand recline because you kind of have to really pull on that strap and the clasp to get it into position so see if I can get it any higher there we go and that's going to be the highest position that we can get it in I can't pull that up any further so if we spin it round doo -doo -doo, you can see here it's a very good up front position they're sitting really high up there's no recline at all on this um, position here unlike some other plush chairs where even when you have it on the highest position they're still s sitting at a slight angle so this is really good for those children that are a bit fussy about sitting like that and that like to sit up and see the world so it's really nice that we have that and then of course we can move it down to any position we want but i'll put it back on the full recline so we can see it in its lay flat position Here we go. And remembering that it's suitable from birth, you would want to have it in a lie flat position probably at the start. And we can see it's still got a slight recline to it, even when it's on its lowest position, but it looks plenty comfortable enough. And one of the things I always really like on the push chair is when you've got all of this material on the side what it's going to do is provide some privacy for your child when they're sleeping and just make them feel a bit cocooned into the push chair as well so it's quite comforting for them right let's have a look at this hood okay so you could hear that clunking as we move it yeah so what that's going to mean is that the hood can't move around at all so if you're out and about in the wind you don't have to worry about it flapping around it's really sturdy and you can see here if you imagine we've got our baby in there we've got it on life flat how much privacy they're going to get with that hood down and how well covered they're going to be from all of the weather elements one of the other things that this hood has is a peekaboo flap so if your child's napping or you're trying to get them to nap you don't have to keep peeking your head around at the front of the push chair um, so you won't be disturbing your child which is great and you can secure that using the velcro if you want to keep it open it also has these storage pockets 
you've got absolutely loads of space in there for your phone, for your keys, for your purse, all of those things that you want to keep safe. And that's on both sides of the push chair. And as well as that, you've got another little extra pocket here as well. That's really where a lot of your storage is because if I show you around here, the included basket, when I say basket, it's not really a basket, it's a pouch. So you can see there, it's just a drawstring pouch. You wouldn't get an awful lot in there, but what you will get in there will be very safe, which is nice. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. And one of the things out and about offer is you can actually purchase basket separately so if this isn't enough for you you can purchase a basket to put on there and it that will provide you a lot more space it's a lot more of a traditional basket so you'd be able to get a bag in there or your coat or anything else that you need to shop in anything like that why we've got it this way around we'll have a look at the brake so it's a really simple brake system it's just that little red pedal you would just push down that locks it into place and then we would just flick it up to get it unlocked. So a really nice little feature on this is when you have the seat lying all the way down, what you can do on the side here is there's some zips and if you bring these up on either side, you've actually got some mesh material here. So. In the summer months where you might want a little bit more ventilation to your child, especially if you've got the hood over them, you can just release this up and then you've got this lovely little mesh protection here which is obviously going to keep them um, still protected from anything flying around. Um, and that's a really nice little useful touch there. Out and about have adjustable handlebars. So all you would do to move the handle around is push these two black buttons in at the same time, and then you can put it up. That's the highest that it's gonna go to. And then you can have it all the way down. And what this means for you is that regardless of your height, you're gonna be able to find a really nice, comfortable, position to push the push chair in and also if um, you have a partner and they're taller or shorter than you you can adjust it according to who's pushing the push chair um, and also when you have it on a slower setting if you've got any um, other children they'll probably really like to push the push chair as well because it'll be a really nice height for them to help out. An adjustable handle is one of the things that lots of people ask us about whenever we review these push chairs. So it's always really nice to see because it's very, very handy to have a handle that you can adjust um, rather than, you know, you having to push something that's either too low for you or too high for you. Because you'll be using it so much, it's really important that it's comfortable for you when you push it. Now, underneath this bit of card, you've got a foam handle. Again, well, that's just gonna to add to the comfort for you pushing it. Something that you do need to bear in mind with a foam handle is that they can get damaged really easily and they do require a little bit of looking after. So you should be quite careful with that part to keep it in pristine condition. I'm gonna go back to the tires now. We had a brief look at these at the start of the video. Now, as I said, these are air-filled tires. And if you haven't used an air fuel tire before, they will require some maintenance. So you'll want to regularly check that they're inflated. And um, you probably want to do that before you go out for any kind of long walk, because if they're not inflated, it will be really hard for you to maneuver the push chair. Another thing to bear in mind with air fuel tires is they have an inner tube inside of them. So quite often, if you can't pump the tire up, you'll assume it's the tire that's got a puncture even if you can't see one, but it actually would probably be the inner tube inside which get, gets damaged. So what you'll need to do, you might never have to do this, but it's likely if you're using it for off-road, you will have at least one time where you'll need to do this, is replace that inner tube. And they can be bought separately, they're really easy to get hold of, and then that will sort your tyre issue out. Even though an airfield tyre is going to cause you to occasionally do some maintenance to them they are the ultimate for off-road you can't get any better for off-road and they make the push chest so easy and light to push so really the maintenance parts 
it's a nothing in comparison to how nice this is going to be for you to push and as well as off-road if you live in the countryside if you live in a real rural area you don't really want plastic wheels it's going to be really difficult for you to get out and about say if you live in a village you haven't got smooth pavements maybe you come out into a a road or a lane rather than a pavement you will want something that's really easy to maneuver because plastic wheels they're just going to jiggle all over the place it's going to be uncomfortable for you and it's definitely going to be uncomfortable for your child so air fuel tires are really the way to go if you are living in a rural area we have got this nice plastic foot plate plastic because it's really easy to maintain it you're obviously going to get a lot of mud on here if you're out and about in the fields for a walk so you'll just be able to wipe that clean which is great and it also is a really good space for your kid once they get older to pop their feet on and make them really comfortable as well okay next up we're going to have a look at the fold on this push chair so out and about always advise you to have your seat fully up when you fold the push chair down so we're going to do that there we go we are going to put the brake on we've got our hood up and then i will show you how we fold it so what you need to do is you've got these two little black bits on either side of the frame which we're going to release and then if you see here you can see this little pin is keeping this clasp in position and we're going to push this down and then we use the handlebar when this is released to push it down okay so this is it in its folded position so you can see it's quite a large fold especially with these wheels what you could do of course if you wanted to is you could release the wheels each time you stored it um, but it would you know be a little bit of a hassle to do that but you could so you will need a really decent amount of space in your car boot if that's where you're gonna store it or if you're taking it around with you um, and you would need a decent amount of space at home to store it as well it's not unusual with these types of push chairs that they do have quite a large fold um, so you probably won't find much different with any other brand that you're looking at for a freewheeler it's just kind of how it goes with these um, but you can see it's really easy to fold down and it's really easy to get it back up as well so here you've got a little hook which will keep the frame in place when it's folded and to bring it back up you just release that and then using the handlebar you can bring it back up into position it weighs 9.8 kilos so it has got a little bit of weight to it when you're taking the pushchair up and down but to be honest it's not particularly heavy and when we unlock this it doesn't feel heavy at all to push it it's just the weight when you're bringing the frame up and down now it feels so nice to push. If you've used a freewheeler before, especially if you've had anything with air-filled wheels, you'll know they're just an absolute joy to manoeuvre around. Um, and of course, like I said at the start, just because they're air-filled tyres doesn't mean you can't use this out and about in a town. It is a lot larger and longer than four-wheeler push chairs, so that's something you'll need to bear in mind that you might get in the way of other people if you're up and down the aisles with this push chair but it is so easy to maneuver it around so if you were in a town you wouldn't have any problems at all with maneuverability which is great um, as i said you just want to bear in mind the length of your push chair and that especially because that front wheel you can see when we've got it unlocked it sticks out so you just want to be careful of people's ankles really with that okay so that is the out and about nipper single the absolute perfect off-road push chair ideal if you live in a rural area in the countryside if you like to take walks over bumpy fields if you like to do forest walks anything like that it will be great for and as i said you can use it out and about in the town as well so it's completely versatile even with your airfield tires um, but really if you do live in a town um, and you're not you know you have no need for um airfield tiles as in you're you're not going to be on bumpy terrain you're not taking walks out into the countryside 
this probably isn't the pushchair for you. It really is aimed towards people who do live in rural areas where every day you're having to go over really bumpy terrain. So really easy to use, really easy to set up. One of the great things about Out and About is although they're quite simple looking push chairs, they're easy to keep clean, they're easy to maintain. You can wipe clean the fabrics, um, which is exactly what you need when you're using it for off-road use. There are other out and about push chairs. Um, there's one which you can actually run with. You, it's not suggested that you use this one to run with. Um, and you can also get one with EVA tires, which will be more suited to town use um, because you don't have the maintenance of these lovely airfield tires. You can use it from birth up until about four years of age. As I said at the start, there's a 22K limit on the whole push chair. That will include anything that you've got in the basket, hanging off the push chair, in the hoods. So you do need to bear that in mind. And with this, you can attach the out and about carry cot, which you can purchase separately, or a compatible car seat. And there are adapters that you can buy so that you can do that, which makes it really versatile. Um, when your baby's first born, you might not want to have them in the seat unit. You, you might find they're more comfortable either in a carry cot or in a car seat for small periods of time. So it's great that you can do all three of those things with this push chair and obviously then still be using it for off-road use. If you'd like any more information at all, you can go on to buggybaby.co.uk. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments and thank you for watching.